Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today's video I got a kind of an eclectic type of stuff here. Got a let go or I should say a offer up tool haul. Got an awesome SK shirt I'll tell you about. That dangerous place eBay. I found a nice SK item. I want an awesome item and I'll tell you about that. That's a Weeha and wait till you see the how the quality is on that. And then I pick something up on Amazon Prime Day. Oh, don't forget, I got a little Tecton treat there as well. So let's get into it. All right, first item here, I wanted to thank Andy M, another, just you know, like us, tool enthusiast. If you haven't checked out his channel, check it out. He's got a great sense of humor, as you can see, just based on the letter he, sends, he, he sent me here. Uh, he's just a great dude. And uh, he's been following me for a while, and I follow his channel as well. And he's, like I said, he'll make you laugh for sure. And he sent me this awesome SK shirt. And here it is. Look how nice that is with the vintage SK logo. It's a Reebok shirt. Look at the sleeve here. It's got the American flag on the sleeve. How cool is this? I can't thank him enough. It's like that nice material, and it should fit uh, just perfect. So thank you so much, Andy, for that. And um, I'll definitely be wearing it. Uh, now, this next item I won. And it's not often I win something. And it was very exciting. And this is from Renegade's Garage. He got a bunch of Weeha tools. So he must uh, have a great relationship with them. And these are beautiful. And I'm just so happy to own these and win them. Look at the quality of these. Now, if you look at the back here, I thought that all their stuff was made in Germany. But what it says here is that it's uh, Weeha Germany manufactured in Poland. And, you know, anything made in Europe is generally really well made. And the reviews on these are just outstanding. Look at the length of these. They're tremendously long. I mean, that measures almost 10 inches. Let's get them out of the package and take a closer look. Now, they claim to be 20% longer, and that is definitely accurate. This is a standard set that I have, you know, length set. And these aren't super short by any means. So look at the length of those. And uh, the other really neat factor on this is that these have a magnetic ring to hold what you're working on. And then they just have this great design. Look at this. You turn one, and they just all open for easy use. I think this is just awesome. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for a metric set. All right, they claim to be super hardened CRV steel and they should have a no hassle guarantee. So I love Bontas and I love uh, a lot of the USA stuff, but you can't beat stuff from Europe as well. So thanks so much, Renegade Garage. If you haven't checked out David's channel, that link will be in the description Hello. Small little backstory to this item. Bear with me a minute. I was reaching for a pair of pliers the other day and I you know, grabbed my standard six and a half inch set. These are the old Western Forge ones. And um, I love the flush joint on them, but they just were a little small. So I said, you know what? I do have a bigger eight inch. So I went into my box and I grabbed the eight inch and these work just fine. I bought these numerous years ago, probably four or five years ago when Tekton started making USA stuff to kind of check them out. And I think Wieldy makes these for them and they were very reasonable. Uh, but it just bothered me that it has this nut on the back. Now, I don't mind that with vintage stuff like my old channel locks. I think that's kind of neat, you know, but I just, you know, I don't like it for whatever. It just seems bulky. And in this day and age, if I'm going to buy something new, I'm going to prefer not to have a nut on the end. Now, the advantage to that is if this ever wears out, which it would take a tremendous amount of use, you could never tighten it up. And that is the one drawback to these flush joints. Um, so if this ever gets loose, you just give that a little quarter turn, peen it back, or, you know, if you ever want to clean these, you can take them off, uh, put them back together, peen it back over. So that is the one advantage. So it just brought me to eBay that night, and I came across this. Now, I did have to pony up for these. These weren't cheap. These were $25 with free shipping, and I think there might have been a little bit of tax as well. So these came in around $26, $27. And they'll be a great addition to the SK collection and definitely get some use as those teeth are super aggressive. I mean, they are sharp. All right, next up are these super long SK screwdrivers. Have you ever seen anything like this? I know I haven't. I found these on OfferUp and the guy only wanted 20 bucks for them. 
and I just happened to work out where I was passing by there on my way home from work. So I got home a little bit later that night because I went about 10 minutes out of my way and I came home through the door and my wife said, oh, you're a little later than you said you were going to be. And I had these in my hand like this and I said, here you go, honey, like it was a bouquet of flowers. Needless to say, she had a chuckle and I didn't uh, end up getting these hit over my head. So take a look at these. This is like a master set of cabinet screwdrivers. Originally it was a nine piece set. This is um, seven of the pieces. And as you can see there, look at that. The longest one is 20 inches um, and the majority, all of them are over a foot long. Uh, the two that I'm missing I identified because I did find this on eBay. Um, and they're very rare. You don't see a lot of these. Is I'm, I'm missing, missing the shorter Phillips and I'm missing the shorter flat screwdriver that somebody probably used as you would think most commonly. So you don't see these all that often and when you do they go for a good penny. The set of these sold recently for $135 in roughly the same condition. I will tell you the condition of these I haven't even cleaned them up yet but overall is really good and mainly you know you're looking at the Phillips because that's the one it's just got a little bit of dirt in there. That's the one that you know you got to worry about it being uh, beat up or, or stripped out. The rest of these you know are flat so if they have a little bit of uh nicks and dings on them you can uh clean them up a little bit because they're just you know basically used as pry bars it looks like uh but these i would clean them up um and see, this one's got a little bit of damage that's the one with the most damage and then some of them you can see you could tell were just never ever used and the tips are absolutely pristine on them so those will clean up great and look great in the sk um, screwdriver toolbox collection next up amazon prime day just perusing around looking for nothing in particular and i came across these and i said you know what i think i could definitely use a set of these so what these are are brass punches and i have a handful of them here and there but not a complete set and sometimes you just really want to have that precise fit to knock something through and as you're aware you know the brass doesn't mar and i will say for twelve dollars i think the regular price was sixteen dollars and they've got a nice roll stamp imprint they have a really good gnarling on them uh they're probably made in china would be my guess uh but i needed a complete set to have and you know brass i guess it's got this little thing here if you want to hold the the punch and uh, as you're doing it so i thought that was a good little find for 12 dollars, and it got really good reviews it's always nice when you have a case like this so when you do need a punch you just unroll it you're not digging through a drawer finding all loose stuff and you'll have that precise fit and the last item i got here is from tecton and it's a tool storage and these are plier racks and the reason i purchased them is i've been looking for these for a while and i needed ones that were a certain size and not only that i had a bunch of points because i buy stuff from tecton from time to time I had a bunch of points that were about to expire and i said you know what it was only i think four dollars that was going to expire but i said i don't want to go to waste and i needed these and these are made in the usa and these go in the toolbox where you could stand up your pliers so they come in and i'm like all right you know they think it cost me 14 dollars well wouldn't you know it they gave me two of them so i think it was an accident they accidentally gave me two of them uh, so Tecton, thank you for the free gift and um, i actually was going to try one and if it worked out well use the other but now i got two and they're just really nice they got this rubber in them yeah, I could just tell when they're sitting on here, they don't move. And what I'm going to do is I got a short uh, draw in one of my toolboxes. And I want to put them this way. Uh, it's a deep draw, but it's short. And these are, uh, it's a 12-inch draw. And these only measure, uh, I think, 11 and a half. And they should fit in there great. So in a future video, I'll show you what these look like once they're all loaded up with pliers in my drawer. So it's been hot back in the shop lately. Had some issues with the AC on top of everything. Been cleaning up some stuff here and there. Listing some stuff on eBay to try to pay for some of these tool hauls. And I recently, you know, if you guys remember my last video, I think I paid a hundred bucks for that massive haul. I did made a two part series on it. And I got two of these extractors. So I flipped one of those, made 25 bucks after, you know, I paid everything and the fees. And I'm gonna see if I can clear the remainder of it uh with this here so i'm going to list this on ebay it cleaned up great look how nice the tips are especially on the phillips and you know those are the ones i worry about this is the only one that's got a little bit of damage on that one side 
that they must have used it as a pry bar but it cleaned up great in a matter of minutes a little elbow grease unfortunately this gentleman cut the top off of this that had the little flap on it that little cut so it fit nice in his toolbox probably cost me about a hundred dollars um, so I'm going to list it in an auction and I'm going to throw this in it as like a freebie. So I'll keep you updated on that. And if you wanted to follow along with just to see if I could get my hundred bucks back for that tool haul with the one item in it, um, I'll put the link to my eBay channel as well. All right. One last look at everything here, guys. What a nice set of Allens, huh? Those sweet or what? Those flush joints with an adjustable. How cool are those as well as those super long screwdrivers awesome shirt from andy the tecton that i can tell you those are well made stay tuned for that in a future video i know a lot of you want me to see me restore that old vintage air pump i am definitely going to do it now that i got some air flowing back in the shop so like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching